I know you're going to be shocked, but he didn't miss the game in Atlanta because he was protesting turf. I know. Mm. I, I know. It's unbelievable given that everyone on Twitter had already condemned him for such an action. But lo and behold, that was not the case. The thing that really sucks right now with the whole David Bakhtiari situation is a lot of things. And none of them have to do with David Bakhtiari. However, the frustration, and you're starting to see the cracks, and not with the casuals, but with a lot of diehards, including reporters, you're starting to see the cracks of like, you know, is this where we want to be? And I get that. I understand that. Some of the frustrations on the public side, I think, is just a lack of information. Everybody wants all the information right away. When it's like, just wait until he speaks, which he did today. In the short the information, term. In and the then short that term. can help you alleviate some of that frustration rather yes. than jumping to conclusions and being in the all short upset term. about it. In the short term. But there's a bigger issue that I'm going to, and I, and I love David Bakhtiari, and I think he brings an enormous value to our team. But there's a business decision that I feel like isn't being made by the Packers. So it's like, okay, well, we're going to wait for this guy that historically in the last two and a half years now is only going to be in eight games or whatever it is, right? And I'm not saying we shouldn't wait for him, right? I'm not making a decision here. It's just it really feels like we're in a holding pattern and we're being held hostage hostage not by David but by this and we're not doing anything to get ourselves out of the hostage situation as a fan I see long term that's how it feels 